On behalf of the of Team Essentially Meridian, a very, very warm welcome to all of you. We have lined up this evening to find out about eczema and uh, traditional Chinese medicine. I'm sure you are here because either you have experienced eczema yourself or you know someone close to you who is still struggling um, you know, with eczema, right? So um, we're very excited to spend this evening with our, spe with our speaker, Jermaine Go. Um, Jermaine is dedicated to promoting health and wellness. In addition to specializing in internal medicine, um, Jermaine also looks into meridian therapy, acupuncture, and scraping. Jermaine also combines Swiss cell therapy with traditional Chinese medicine in an open-minded, pragmatic, flexible spirit to provide the best combination of Chinese and Western healthcare for the public. She is currently offering Meridian 101 course for her friends in Singapore, Australia, Cambodia, and around the world to promote the wisdom of traditional Chinese medicine. Because of Jermaine's experience and knowledge, many businesses, educational institutions, clubs, and associations have actively invited her to teach them or give lectures on traditional Chinese healthcare. And so we are very, very lucky to have Jermaine join us here tonight to share her wisdom with you. Over to you, Jermaine. Jermaine, you are mute. Jermaine, you need to unmute yourself. <laughs> It's okay. Okay, sorry, sorry. Thank you, Audrey. Good evening, everyone. And uh, my name is Jermaine. I'm most happy to be here to share on how TCM view azima and what can be done to manage azima through the use of traditional Chinese medicine. In short, it's TCM. Okay. So let us first understand some fundamentals of TCM. From the slide, you can see this Chinese character, right? Can you all type in the chat box, what is this word? Yeah? Yes, it is the Chinese character for qi, right? So in the Western world, well, some would um, actually call it uh, life force energy. But in the ancient um, China, uh, in our Wang Di Nei Jing, the Bible, the uh, medicine Bible, it actually talk about, it have a, this uh, special uh, well-known quote, we actually say, qi wei xue zi shuai, xue wei qi zi mu. So to translate in English means, um, qi is the commander of blood, and blood is the mother of qi. Okay? So, so these two are in uh, separable. So they are interdependent. And uh, this is one of the basic theory of TCM. So qi is considered as yang and uh, blood is considered as yin. When the yin and yang are in balance, so what happened? Everything in, is in the universe is in harmony, right? So likewise, if, if uh, for one to have a balance or good health, then the blood and qi must exist in harmony also. So this is what we call a balanced condition. And uh, when blood and qi are not in balance, this is where the various health condition actually arrives, start to have problem. So over time, if, if uh, this unbalance is not resolved, then uh, you know, it will actually lead to various um, disease. Hence one of the basics, um, the basic principle of TCM treatment is to restore back the imbalance or the blockage of the body and ensure that the qi and blood is flowing smoothly in your body, right? Okay. So let me share another um, basic theories of TCM. This is related to our wu zhang liu fu. That means, that is to say that, you no, know, this translate, translate into English will be five yang, five yin organ and uh, six yang uh, organs of our body. And uh, when the yin and yang organs of our body is in a balance, so our health will be good. And um, when all the organs is in our body are related, all our organs in the in the our body actually is related to the five elements, 
of the universe, which is wood, fire, earth, matter, and water. So likewise, when all these five elements uh, universe is in our body, is in harmony, we will remain healthy. So in TSM, we use various uh, methods to, to help in resolve, to restore back the imbalance of the body in our body and uh, the five elements universe within our body also. So this include, um, you know, taking uh, herbals um, concussion. As you know, that herbs, in, herbs have been known in, for thousands of years that you know, have a higher energy than our body. So and uh, by taking intake of the herbs, it will help to restore back the imbalance as well as to unblock the, unblock the blockage of the meridians in our body and strengthen up our body constitution. And uh, they're also well known of the, some of the uh, treatments such as acupuncture, um, tuina, uh, cupping, which is also acupressure, ma massage and puasa. Um, so this technique can help, to, can help to clear blockage in our bodies. And this will also help to restore back the smooth flow of the chi and blood in the body. So by eating proper diet is also one of the, one of the, uh, uh, one of the, is, uh, is also one of the method to help you to balance up your body and restore back your imbalance. So for example, in winter, uh, for some of the country, you know, some people, you know, I, I think um, some of us is actually from four seasons country. So in winter, you all don't take cold stuff, right? You don't take ice cream, right? So usually you'll take what more of the heat up, uh, it's more on the warm food so that, you know, you don't uh, encounter coldness in your body. and. Uh, Likewise, when the season is in summer, so you will take some cooling stuff in for your to cool up your, of your body. So then there are people who also practice uh, qigong and tai chi, help to improve and strengthen the body qi, and also help to re-regulate uh, the flow of the qi throughout the body, right? And like, let me let me share with you the another important TCM concept, which is called uh, body constitution. And uh, in Chinese, we call it Ti Zi. Okay, when each and each and uh, every individual have an unique body constitution. Okay, so this can actually help um, change over time, especially when your body constitution can also affect how you feel and uh, how you how you behave, and also also how your body react to to or respond to various um causes of the illness. So poor health conditions and illness will actually arise when the body become imbalanced. So in TCM, we categorize people into nine types of uh, different types of body constitution. And uh, I will just share a few examples to explain the, this point. Yeah. So for example, when someone who has a qi deficient, so you should, that means they are actually having low qi. So what happened is they always find that find themselves getting tired very easily. And uh, also um, they often catch a cold or flu. And, um, and they sweat easily, even though they work out is very little, okay? And uh, another, another thing is uh, a person who is actually young deficient, deficient. So they may actually find themselves always having cold feet and hands and uh, always um, afraid of cold, especially when they go into the aircon room, no? they will definitely will put on the sweater or all stuff, you know? They, or they even ask you, hey, why don't you just off the icon? You know, <laughs> that is too much about when you're in the public, right? So, so these are people who actually feel very uncomfortable after um, eating uh, cold stuff or having some uh, cold environment. And they also particular vulnerable to disease like uh, related to cold and dampness. Why? Law of attraction, right? So cold, cold will get together, right? Hoping you are, you know, that type of thing, right? Okay. So the best is, of course, the person with a very neutral or balanced uh, body constitution. And this, this type of person usually is very lucky because they are physically, they are very fit and uh, emotionally, they are very stable. And also they can sleep well and also have very good appetite. So what we are actually understanding that the person, so from here we can understand that the, the person who actually having uh, uh, the body uh, constitution will be very good for the for the TCM physicians to, to help in diagnose and uh, also recommends uh, the correct treatments to help them for their 
for to 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 um elevate their uh, body immunity. Okay. Um, also, internal fact, uh, our body constitution also can be affected by our body uh, by both our internal and external factors. So internal factors will be like the body um, physical conditions or sometimes it's inherited genes which make the persons um, prone to getting some uh, certain of the illness or disease. So this inherited gene, inherited one cannot be changed, right? So what you can do is, for example, eczema may run in the family. And in this case, we can only help to strengthen back their, what the body is weak or, or the, what the body is missing. And um, external factor will be things that you know, can be controlled. For, for instance, like your lifestyle, what you eat and your working environment and even your emotion, emotional state. Okay? But I understand the, this body constitution actually can help, uh, help, can then help to take measure to balance up your whatever your body is missing and also to achieve the good health, okay? Right, so let us um, now look at the types of, um, the topics of interest of tonight, this evening, which is eczema. So from here, you can see that from this side, there's so many types of eczema, right? But as you can see here, however, whatever that uh, eczema that you have, what is the common symptom that they have? This common symptom will include the dryness of the skin or the scaly skin, or even if you have a common, uh, it is common to the affected uh, area is the itch, the redness, swelling of affected area, and also if it's if this um swell and uh, this uh itchiness is very severe, then it actually badly affected your quality of life. Okay. Right. Let us now look at some of the some of the causes of the this eczema. Okay. First is the genetic and DNA. Okay, for example, do you know that twins are 80% more likely to develop eczema at the same time or in a different time? Okay, if, if uh, one member of the family have uh, eczema, the chances are very high that another member will got it, you know, will develop uh, eczema also. So sometimes you will also find that this eczema actually um, is passing down to generation to generation because it's actually generic and it's inside their DNA, right? And uh, chronic illnesses, chronic illnesses can be um, another cause because for some people, when they have their chronic illnesses that cause them to have poor blood circulation, like we already said in, in the uh, in in before that the uh, qi and blood flowing, you know, is very important to the body uh, balances. Okay, so and over a period, long period of time, if the blood and qi circulation is not good, then this will actually can turn them and cause them to have eczema also, okay? Sometimes this can be made even worse if this if uh, uh, lead to a poor lifestyle, if this person never uh, sleep, sleeping late or eating unhealthily or even a uh, lack of uh, exercise. Because uh, usually these people who actually have chronic illness, illnesses, they somehow their mind is um, work in that way that they find that uh, anyway already, you know, have uh, illness, why should I do more, you know? They don't even want to, take precautions or preventive care of themselves to actually live a better quality life. Some people, they will have this mindset. So this is all can, and uh, with that uh, mindset, it actually can cause them to have a poorer uh, gut health and uh, also excess um, uh, toxin in their body. And these two can cause them to actually have a breakout of the eczema and it actually make them worse for their lifestyle. Okay, right. So even emotion, can play a role. So just now what I mentioned is something like also emotion, uh, you know, there is a reject out uh, emotion. So for example, people who are constantly feel sad, uh, then uh, they will end up affecting their lung. Why? Because in TCM, lung is a govern of, and the mood of lung is actually sadness. And lung also is governed of the, our skin and fur, pi mao, okay, fei zu pi mao. So when they are sad, when they are sad, so it actually will actually, um, cause the blockage of the lung meridian and the qi and blood will not flowing very well. And this how it will flare out and appear on the skin. And this will cause them to actually develop the eczema, okay? Another cause is the environmental uh, pollution. And uh, in certain countries like uh, third world countries, they are, the air pollution is very bad. And uh, many people have actually um, have a respiratory um, uh, problem. And um, 
and this country also, you know, there's also a high percentage of people who actually uh, uh, develop into uh, having asthma also because due to the pollution was so bad, right? So because, and uh, one of the reason why is it so that is uh, pollution actually can cause um, the lower the body immune system and uh, this will lower the person's uh, resistance to the, uh, the, the allergen allergen and uh, this can make them is more prone to getting uh, eczema, right? So besides the uh, environment uh, issue, even the, um, even the thing that we actually contacted, right? Uh, we use like uh, detergent, shampoo, you know, uh, body gel, you know, and, or even some of the food, you know, is, uh, you will may contain uh, some of the chemicals that uh, is bad to our body. So like what housewife, nurses and cleaner cooks, they are constantly exposed to the chemical, right? Detergent, right? So for some, for many of them, over a period of time, they will actually um, uh, also find that um, they themselves to develop uh, eczema on their hands too, okay? Right. Now, what is the difference between the um, Western, Western and Eastern definition of uh, uh, eczema, okay? So let's look at uh, how the Western doctors say view about the eczema. Usually to them is eczema is a form of uh, inflammation of the skin and uh, was caused by the imbalance in the body immune system. And uh, from their perspective, it is an overreact, overactive of the immune uh, response to either something that, uh, that is consumed or applied as well as internal and external condition. Okay, but in TCM, it's just defined that um, eczema as a damp, so, just <laughs> si Okay, but let's now understand from the TCM perspective, uh, what are the causes of eczema, right? Okay, from the TCM uh, perspective, eczema is usually the, um, uh, the cause by some deficiencies in the spleen, liver, kidney, and uh, coupled with the, the cause factors of wind, dampness, and also uh, the heat. So let's just look closely at the, these three causes. Okay, let's start with this, uh, the first one, which is wind. Wind is often the reason why your eczema actually uh, have rashes and uh, are itchy, okay? And it always have scattered occurrence and also appear in a different part of your body. And um, when wind is, wind is always related to the liver, which in turn is linked to the stress and uh, the emotion of uh, the duration. So that's why when sometimes you see people who is an, under a very high stress, uh, they, they, they will have this uh, eczema flat up on the skin or even um, during their, some ladies, uh, you know, some ladies, they have these um, menstruation cycles. They also have this eczema appear on their skin too, okay? So in TCM, winds does not travel alone, okay? They will bring their partners, dampness and heat together, okay? Why? Because these two causes could, also occur because of the internal and external reason, yeah? And uh, for example, in Singapore, the, you are often exposed to the humidity and heat, right? So it is difficult to prevent them to actually enter, entering into our body. And uh, this is when the TCM physician will guide you on uh, how to regulate your immune system as well as to strengthen your body constitution and to reduce the, the, the impact of this uh, dampness, heat and wind into your body, okay? So we shall now look at um, the importance of the spleen. Okay, Re the spleen is responsible in TCM is actually is a responsible to convert the food that we eat into qi and blood that is then sent throughout the bodies to uh, to actually nourish uh, nourish it. So, however, when the spring is become weak, this is where the problem arises. Okay, so the spleen can be um, uh, can be weakened by many uh, many things like you no know, inclusive of your lifestyle and healthy diet, uh, unhealthy um, uh, uh, diet such as uh, food that you take like kitty food, spicy food, and cold food, you know, or, or frozen food or, or uncooked food. Okay, in TCM, uncooked food is considered as one of the cooling food. Okay, so a lot of people say that. Hey, some of them come to see me and say that. Hey, why cannot eat salad, huh? And why cannot uh, eat um, what sushi or you know, those uncooked food? Yes, it's not. Because in TCM, all uncooked food is considered raw and uh, is considered cooling. Okay, so excessive worry, just now I already have mentioned, when you worry what happened, you also actually flare out the eczema on your body, right? 
And uh, when the spring is weak, the nutrition that we take from the food uh, will actually convert into internal dampness. Okay, so some of the signs that you may actually um, observe include that uh, you find that very often that you feel lethargic and uh, your hands and your legs are very heavy because of dampness. Dampness is always caused people feel very heavy or your head is very heavy and uh, you cannot think properly because of brain fog. Uh, okay, uh, or you have uh, this sticky or loose uh, stool um, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, you, or even a uh, food coma, food coma, okay, when you always feel uh, very tired after eating then you want very sleepy, okay. So this uh, azima caused by this internal uh, dampness can appear in the form of bristol, um, bristol which fill with this pus and swelling and uh, also often appear as a, the, the, the crease of your skin and uh, also take a long time to heal. When dampness is always uh, your, you know, in TCM, dampness always cause a lot of problem and uh, the healing uh, period for dampness uh, is you, for any illness related to dampness will actually take very long time unless you really um, say that, hey, yes, I must you know, do it and uh, to get rid of that or else, you know, the determinants is very important. You know, just like azima, you also have to very firm that I need to solve this problem. You no, know? if not, then it will be prolonged and become chronic. Okay, so if so, this internal dampness stay inside the body over a long time, then you know it then will generate internal heat. When this internal heat um generated, and people will tend to, especially when and for people who actually tends to sleep late, like uh like the fried and uh, busy food food, and they tends to accumulate more more internal um, heat inside the body. So, so when, when your body has too much internal heat, what happens? You'll see that, you know, you'll see that um, then, the, then the condition you'll see will look like the, a chronic inflammation in, in your, uh, of your skin because you may see red rashes and crack uh, skin and uh, also that is picky. Also burning sensation, blistering uh, with infected parts or you may also observe signs like being um, Const, uh, constantly feel thirsty, constipation, and uh, have a uh, bad breath. You know, some people you find that when you talk to them, you can feel that very far away. You also can you know, smell the bad breath from them because why? Because of their internal heat is very strong. Or always are having a uh, constipation. Uh, currently, I have a lot of patients. They always have constipation. Bear in mind that constipation is all of us. Uh, every day must go poo poo. Okay, must go toilet. You must have a fast motion, okay? If uh, you don't pass motions, because now today I, I find that a lot of patients come to me and say, one or two days, uh, no pass motion is okay. But this is wrong, okay? Whatever you eat every day, you have to push up every day, okay? It's, you cannot do the storage inside your body. So it, it will cause a uh, toxin and very harmful to your body. So please uh, make sure that uh, you you have uh, you go pass motion every day, okay? And uh, these are the signs that your body has uh, too much internal heat if you don't go uh, for, for uh, uh, if you have constipation, okay? Yeah, right. So let's look at uh, the stages of uh, our this um, uh, eczema. First uh, is what we see is the acute eczema. So at this stage, it usually appears as an eczema rashes that have um, just started. And uh, the itchiness is also first size of the acute eczema. Uh, Azima also. Some um, characteristics of this stage is um, it is include the extreme um, redness of the skin, intense um, itching, and also fluid feel uh, bristol, pain, tenderness, and also swelling, and uh, occasionally heat. And some of it is actually you can find that the crowd, those crowd type, you know, that type of uh, crowd type of uh, patches around your body. Usually that is uh, also the eczema that causes allergy to something. It could be food, it could be whatever, you know, external uh, uh, allergy uh, chemical that you you actually contacted, okay? Or even the hive, hive is also one of the allergy, you know, that cause the eczema on your body. So the next stage is actually subacute. Subacute is a transition between the acute and the chronic, chronic, um, stage okay so um at this stage you may actually experience that uh, your skin have become uh, uh freaky and uh, uh, uh scaly crack um may actually start um, appearing on the on the skin and uh, the person can feel it 
itching or okay uh, or even a burning sensation and uh, sometimes when you actually sweat you feel worse you know? okay so finally will be the chronic chronic stage at this stage the eczema flare out and uh, are more long lasting so that's why it's called chronic because because the two stages acute and subacute you didn't even bother to to heal so end up you become chronic then it will come as and when they like you know the whatever that you take wrongly or whatever that you contacted they will actually flare out like nobody business so by the time you see that the symptom of azima at this stage will become a leathery um, looking uh, skin and crack in the skin and also their dull or discolored skin okay so um, you see some people who actually have a uh, long term or chronic as uh, you uh, stage uh, their body they seems like they look very dark very damp and uh, they, uh, very dirty type of look because in TCM uh, dampness is always uh, give people that type of sense of dirty okay so you see that the body is like uh, in the patches of uh, this color skin uh. so large area of all over the body and the itchy okay right so this is some of the typical um typical, uh, typical area that will flare up for eczema like for instance the face the scalp ears armpit around your belly button and uh, even the back of your hand, chin, back of the knee. And uh, for guys or maybe ladies also their private part. And uh, for baby, especially, it will be the whole body uh, supporting. Huh? <laughs> okay, another one will be the four bands which in TCM is called Si Wan Fong. It's actually at the crease of the joint, you know. It's, it's actually along your this uh, elbow, you know, at the, the the elbow, the fruits of the elbow or the or your knee, behind your knee, okay? So this is a place whereby, you know, you have this azima. It's a, it's, because azima, when you incurred, uh, usually it's actually come in pair one. They could not come in single, okay? They go with, the, it's like a mirror, mineral image, uh, they come in pair, okay? If your right hand gonna, your left hand definitely will come, okay? Right, so, <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, so this is, let's look at um, how uh, some of the do and don't of the, that you can actually help to minimize or to manage your eczema. So first of all, you have always keep your body clean, keep your skin clean uh, in your daily life and uh, sh uh, shower more often and um, also uh, change of clothes regularly. And uh, if possible, you, you buy some clothes that is soft and breathable, uh, breathable uh, fabric clothes so that you know it won't put on your skin and uh, and uh, it cause uh, some uh, 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 painfulness or itchiness to your body also um, exercise more so that your body can the blood and chi will will flow better why because in in tcm you always say that uh 久坐, 久坐, 三肉, that means you always sit there and never move for hours and hours i know what happened your chi is not moving. And what happened? It will become, it will actually derive into um, some of your, some people will have this, uh, this pain in their, in their, in their buttock, or, you know, or they even have this uh, not flowing. They always find that uh, they, are, they, are, they have a very stiff neck or this thing because they sit there and not moving. Okay. So, so usually, uh, like, for instance, like old folks, right? Those old folks that cannot move, right? They always, or those old folks with uh, bed ridden, they are not moving at all. So you will see that all the bed sore. That's because of the chi and blood is not flowing well. That's the causes of flow, okay? So just pay attention to rest and don't sleep late, okay? Why? Because when you sleep late, you will miss the detoxification of your the organs that will help you to detox your, your body, okay? Do you know that in TCM, there's uh, this uh, biological clock with meridian clock and... Uh, for every two hours, the one meridian that govern the govern the hours. Okay. For instance, if you sleep late, you sleep always sleep in the middle of the night, uh, two o'clock, three o'clock. You know, you'll miss the detoxification of the of your body because why? Eleven to three o'clock is actually our gallbladder and livers uh, doing the detox for our body. So this is the golden detoxification hours. Okay. So please, I'll advocate everybody sleep early so that you get your bodies to uh. To, to actually detox, uh, excel out all the toxin and uh, you don't actually uh, result in the, in, the, in the stage of eczema, okay? 
So also manage of stress um, during this pandemic time. Uh, uh, in fact, I saw a lot of people having uh, asthma. Why? Because people are very frustrated. Why? CB ma cannot go out. <laughs> circuit breaker okay so cannot go out like so it actually caused people to be well, so anxious and uh, anxiety you know the mood change and uh, when they sit at home they find that the uh, especially all the while they are they are working in the office then suddenly stay at home with the family they feel that very uneasy i don't know why okay <laughs> okay so so this is may be one of the one of the causes and uh, they also find very stressful Okay, because um, it's, it, the, the boss will, will tend to give them a lot of work to, to work on it. So managing of your stress and your anger is very important during this time. And uh, beware of the hormone changes. Like for ladies, you know, you have these menses uh, hormone changes uh, during the period of time. Yeah, so this will, uh, okay. The next one will be the living environment. Like I say, always uh, keep away from the humidity, clean and uh, sanitary also to your make sure that the room is well ventilated since everybody is uh, most of the time during this uh, pandemic time we are working at home right so make sure your home is actually uh, ventilated uh, well ventilated it's not too cold or not too dry but i understand that people always put very cold and they wear jacket okay this is how the <laughs> they counter react to the cold okay and uh, also um uh protect from when you go out Please make sure that you have proper protection from your skin and put uh, apply a sunblock. And uh, now I want to talk about is the, the drug that uh, prescription. So if people, um, okay, uh, just bear in mind, if uh, you go for doctor, if the doctor actually um, prescribes some of the drugs for you, please make sure to, and to ask the doctor to explain to you what is the potential side effect of the drugs. So you don't consume something that now you have a side effect and actually uh, if, uh, it actually um, uh, damage your 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 this um blood and chi flow circulation and uh, end up you actually have more problem from taking the drug. So please make sure that the doctor explain to you what is the side effect uh, of taking the drugs that is prescribed to you. Okay. So this is uh very important to learn how to you know uh how to protect yourself from all these uh, uh to do a proper proper uh, managing of the this um, environmental and also yourself uh, preventive care, then it will help you to minimize to get into uh, a zima stage, right? And uh, if how to actually counter react to the chronic when, okay, let's say you are somebody who, ah, I don't care, you know, my body is like that, you know, my body constitution is like that, I don't really care. So when you come to this chronic stage, uh, then you'll be happy, very, 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 very careful because some of the chronic stage is not because you don't care. Some is because of your gene, you know, like I say that genetic problem, DNA. So it's actually uh, passed by uh, passing down from your parents or grandparents. So when, when you have this problem, okay, la, sway, la, bad luck. La. So what you should counter react is, okay, do a proper uh, uh, management of the, your yourself. So please wear natural fabric, uh, like cottons, uh, cottons wear and also to uh, also avoid those static uh, fabric you know, clothes because when this when you wear this uh this uh static um, fabric clothing it actually will generate the the static electricity electricity right so it will cause your body to be very dry so when you have eczema then it become worse you keep on stretching okay so and uh, another thing will be like I said just now humid uh, environment and also to always Okay, there's one thing that is very important. Now, since everybody, especially in Singapore, is very humid and hot, right? People tend to use a lot of air, con air conditioning, right? So please make sure that you do cleaning for your air con, right? Okay, because that is the, that is the place where a lot of virus, a lot of uh, uh, whatever dust and dust there, you know? So make sure when you have eczema or you have sinus, okay? Please do a regular check, uh, to clean up your aircon, okay, okay. Also to clean the your curtain. And when you go out, please make sure that you know, uh, outdoor you don't go for those uh, those uh wild, that would, there's a lot of wild vegetation places whereby a lot of flowers and a lot of plants that actually they have this uh, allergen allergen that you may not be able to take it. And uh, also there's some 
if let's say you are thinking of going to take, you know, to, to take some of the sun, uh, so uh, I will advise that usually the timing will be before 10 in the morning, okay? And uh, also before, uh, after four in the evening, okay? That will be the timing, the best time for you to actually take some of the sunlight, yeah? Okay, so now, how to manage your eczema in the TCM way? Okay, adjust. One is one thing very important is food light. That's what we eat and that's what we are, right? So when to adjust your diet, okay. So uh of course, since we are talking about eczema will normally will caused by the dampness and the heat. So we try to take those food and vegetable that is actually to help to counter react or to reduce our body heat, heat, heat tea and uh, heatiness and uh, dampness. Okay, so like vegetable, like uh, pokori, like uh, apples, you know, and uh, avocado, and uh, also green bean, you know, those common food that we are able to get it, uh, get from the market also. But please, please remember, uh, do not, if you are having eczema, please do not take uh, seafood like prawns, crab, uh, sotong. All this is very toxic in the sand, in the way in TCM. We felt that uh, um, this is all the far, far wood. That means once you take it, the, it will actually agitate your eczema and your flare out more. Okay. So uh, also because um, there's some substance inside all this food, uh, inclusive of uh, like mushroom and, uh, and this groundnut. Is actually have these puree, puree um, substances that actually will agitate uh, to, 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 uh, to actually activate the, your this um, this allergy, you know. So you once you take it, you know, you actually flare out your eczema also. Okay, and besides that, avoid the the irritant like you no know, your that's how I mentioned like your shampoo, your this um facial wash and a uh, detergent. Uh, this all the chemical. If it's more advisable, if you can afford, then you just get those those uh stuff with uh, organics. You know, now today uh in the market there's a lot of organic stuff like shampoo and facial. You know, for detergent for those people who are actually allergic to all the chemical, right? And uh also scratching. Avoid scratching. Why? Because when you scratch, especially in the night. Why in the night? Okay, most of those people who actually have eczema, they will know that in the night, especially in the middle of the night, is very, very itchy. Why? Because in TCM, that's the in that time, you no? Know? In time, you no? Know? At night, it's in, right? In the daytime, it's yang. So when it's in, like I say, law of attraction, right? Yang will attract to yang, right? In will attract to in, right? So at night, it's in, then your body is them. So what? They are friend, right? So it actually make havoc of your body. So you find that it's very itchy. Then you go and scratch, scratch, scratch. Then what happened? When you scratch, my... <laughs> Just be mindful that you know your your nail actually can actually be small. Uh, uh, you know it will actually more contagious to 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 all the it will you help to spread all the all the uh, virus and all the all the bacteria to other parts of your body which is not affected because of the it actually uh, those bacteria is actually stored in the nail. Okay, so just be mindful. Don't scratch. Just avoid to scratch. Okay. And what you can do is maybe you can use some of the external, uh, external, um, <clears throat> external, uh, this uh, skin to external, <clears throat> for instance, like uh, aloe vera cream, external cream to help to actually smoothen the, the itchiness. Okay. You may buy the 99% aloe vera cream. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me share some of the clinical uh, experience that I have. Uh, you can see from here, uh, this uh, little boy, 10 years old, and uh, before treatment, he actually had this four band, uh, like the si feng one, right? That's how I say, si one feng, sorry, si one feng, right? So it's uh, both hand and the chin leg. And what happened is it's very red, it's very, very red and uh, very itchy. And the mother complained that he always scratched in the night. No, the more he scratched, the more he actually get it, and uh, he couldn't have a very good sleep. So um, uh, the the mother also refused him to to take too much of the steroid to stop the itch. So he come to me, and um, uh, and uh, what what I did is I actually do the concussion of the herbs, 
to help him for the intake and also to, to concord herbs for the external wash. So um, besides that, I also help them uh, advise the mom to do some of the massage on certain of the acute oil. So to help him to actually balance up his five elements, the universe of five elements like Mu Huo, Sui Jing Tu, right? So, and, uh, so that to help him to, to actually soothen the, to lessen the, the, the itchiness. So surprising, surprisingly, after one month, what he get is after the treatment, actually, it actually recover almost 90%. And also this is part of the back of the knee. So see, very nice, right? And uh, currently, uh, I think one month ago, I met the mom. I met the mom and she told me that she actually recovered totally. Uh, That's very happy for him, you know. Especially I can understand how people who actually have eczema can feel how they, how they, how, you know, how they feel, uh, I can feel what type uh, what type uh, I mean, uh, emotions, yeah. emotions, yeah, emotions or whatever that have, I mean, the big thickness, uh. <laughs> the, the suffering, the suffering, the suffering, the suffering, yeah, suffering yeah, that they have, okay, yeah, okay, so now I will recommend some of the TCM point, the acute point that actually can help you to ease up your itchiness and also to smooth up and help you to uh, to, oh, to to ease up the itchiness and also help to how to smooth out your this um condition. Okay. One of the points is Feng Si. Feng Si is actually uh one of the points in a God Brother Meridian. And um you just stand straight and put your two hands beside your you know beside your thigh. Then uh, at the tip of this uh, third uh, your middle finger, that is the feng shi. But it's okay that you don't know about the point. What you need to do is just do the pressure, okay, finger press, or you what you can do is you use your feet, the hand, then you just pulse it, hammer, hammer it, okay? Hammer 20, 200 to 500. At any point of time when you're free, just hammer it. Then you're surprised that, you know, some of the each, you know, the each will actually stop gradually, okay? Then another one is the qi men. Qi men is, the, is on the liver meridian. And qi men is also one of the special, special shape, special uh, acupoint uh, in liver meridian, which is a uh, mu xie. Okay, mu xie, mu xie is actually counteract those uh, sickness or those illness that caused by the liver. So usually when you use this qi men, qi men, uh, it will help you to uh, elevate your, this, um, uh, immunity system, so it will smooth out all your this itch. So, but don't worry that you couldn't find. I think from this picture you cannot find also lah. What you can do is you just massage the whole stomach, okay? Just use your hand and massage the whole stomach. And please remember, if you really use the uh, quasar board, then please apply oil, okay? Yeah. Okay. Next one will be the zhu san li. Zhu san li, as you know, is is a is a longevity point also. It's actually very good for preventive care. And uh, this two sun in TCM, we are saying that it's a two shui two qi. That means it's a it's a lot of blood and qi. So just now we already mentioned that qi and blood flowing is very important to the body con body constitution, right? So always press on this, or you just do the pulse, just hammer it. You no, know? when you when you feel that your leg very tired, what do you do? You just hammer, you know, the point. Usually it's that point it will, won't go wrong one, okay? So that is our our body uh instinct uh, to, to know where to where to actually help ourselves, right? Okay, san ying jiao, san ying jiao is actually is a ying, right? San ying, right? That means it's three three ying uh, meridian together, jiao jie chu is a hub, okay? So what is the three meridian that actually uh make up of this point? It's actually spring liver and kidney. So when you maintain and do pressure point on this, uh, or quasa on this point, actually you have to maintain your body qi and blood circulation, okay? And uh, it also help to elevate uh, your uh, immunity, okay? And uh, you can have a better power up because uh, kidney is a power bank. So you power up your whole body energy when you feel that you're very tired. So this is one of the point. And uh, the rest of the point will be the lung meridian, like I say, just how I mentioned, lung, anything, you know, when you are sad, you know, your mood is very bad, you will cause eczema also. So lung is one of the points. So 
qi chi. Qi chi from the name Chinese is chi means pond, okay? So it's water, right? So when you have eczema, usually what do you have? You have a dry skin. So you need this pond to help you, you know? Okay, to so to so call to uh, to 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 give you more wet or to to give you more water to your body to your skin, right? So this is a chi chi where by when you press it, you help you to elevate and uh, you find more, you know, your body will be more soothing and uh, you will have less itching. Okay, xue hai xue hai from the words direct translation, black. Sea, eh? black sea, you know the black sea, you know, so big, right? Black sea, whereby you know that your black sea eh, on your leg, okay? So this black sea will help you people who actually have a low blood pressure or high blood pressure, you know, meridian point is always put on 2H, okay? Either low or high. So when you press on this one, you also help to soothing out your, this itchiness, right? And uh, this is uh, one of the points which actually on the spring meridian, right? So you know that spring actually to to shit, right? To suicide, okay, to actually uh send out to nourish your all your organ. Okay. Bai chong wo, bai chong wo, wow, from the new we can see that hundred worms nests. Okay. So you know that when you are very itchy, it's like worms all over your body, right? So why? So this point will help you to kill all the all the chong, all the Itchiness. So it's called by chong wo. So you know how effective it is, right? So definitely it will help you to release your itchiness and your pain. Okay, so this is my last slide, and um that's all that uh, for tonight sharing. And uh, I'll pass this session back to our host, Audrey. Audrey, thank you. Just one moment. Are you seeing my screen? Uh, go on screen share mode, Audrey. Okay, hold on. Thank you. Mm. Ah, is that up? Great. Thank you so much, uh, Jermaine. You have shared so much knowledge, and uh, I'm sure a lot of us uh can associate all the different uh analogies and uh, the causes and the feeling and the emotion as an eczema sufferer well, or an ex-eczema sufferer, right? Or if you're still suffering, um, you know, you relating all that stories, uh, it really um, uh, bring back a lot of uh, not very good memories, right? But um, uh, among our guests here tonight, right, we have many um, friends who have gone through the eczema experience. And the first person I'd like to invite will be Jenny. So um, Jenny, could you please share with us about your Hive's uh, experience? Hello, thank you, Audrey. Hello, everyone. I'm Jenny. Okay, as you can see from the picture, okay, this was my first time encounter such a serious uh, Hive. Uh, it was very, very itchy. And but... So uh, all this while I've been practicing uh, meridian therapy, so I was quite calm at that time. I didn't go and rush to the clinic and see doctor. So instead, I consulted my uh, consulted our chief trainer Xiu Ling. So she taught me a very simple way to stop the itch. So just now our speaker Jermaine also mentioned uh, uh, to use this uh, two oils. Okay, as you can see, Vital Meridian and also Forsythia Detox. I use these two oils. Uh, to apply on the feng shi point. Then I, diligently, I hammer these two points left and right. So I actually hammer total in, in total 600 times. So 200 times, then I rest my arm, then 200, 200. <laughs> so because it's more, it was very itchy. But after hammering this 600 time, right, so I noticed that the hive subsided very, very fast. So no longer itching. So at that night, I actually can sleep as per normal. So um, the next day morning, I woke up. I also uh, did the human reset. Okay, there's a five acupressure point massage. I did human reset and also split up my recovery. So I was glad that I no need to see doctor, no need to take medications. So I, in less than one day, I actually heal naturally. Yeah. Thank you, Audrey. Thanks, it's my Jenny. sharing. Thank you. Thanks, Jenny. It's... It's a very amazing uh, speed of recovery, you know. I mean, if you look at it, it's like 6th of September. And by the 7th of September, 
you know, you felt like a whole person again. So amazing, right? So yes. thanks, Jenny, for sharing your story. I think it's 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 a very inspiring. Um, the next the next uh friend that I like to invite is uh Shred Singh, and uh Shred Singh, I understand you know your baby boy has eczema since he was a few months old, right? And um, so what what did you do for him before when he contracted um eczema? Xue Xing. Uh, hello, everyone. Xue Xing will speak in uh, Chinese first and later I will uh, translate to English. Yeah? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is my son. He was in the first year of the year. He was in the first year of the year. Then, after that, he was in the first year. 复发的时候变就变成疱疹来了，就在照片的上面。然后那时候我，呃，就带去看医生。我看了医生，呃，就是找专科也有，然后儿科也有，呃，涂了药都是反反复复咯，没有得到很好的治疗。然后呃，过后是通过我的儿子，大儿子的老师 ，Alice 老师，他就推荐我。呃，啊，你你想啊，你想，让让我让我呃 ，translate 先啊。Okay, uh, Xue Xing actually shared that um, this is her son. Uh, when actually when she was four months old, uh, he started to have a eczema symptom. Initially, it was just itchy, and then but later on, it actually flared up to be like um blisters all over his body, which is you can see from the picture on the top left corner, yeah, all over his body. So she actually seek a lot of uh, medical help as well. She went to the doctors, both Western and Eastern, and and trying to find solution. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Audrey, you want to ask the next question? Yes. 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 So, um, what have you found out later, and how you help to elevate his uh eczema condition? To uh, Xue Xing. So Xue Xing, you you found out some way to elevate it. 呃，后来是通过我的呃，就是 Alice 老师的推荐下，我就嗯不想再去看医生了，因为看一次医生的话三四百块，然后我觉得哎呦又医不好，然后没呃又很折磨啦，自己辛苦，孩子也辛苦，然后过后呃我就给他吃，刚开始我就先给他吃阿维达的那一个活益素咯。呃，我我给他吃一天三包，然后我给他拍一个星期啦，还有用大补贴。人呃，他刚开始的时候就大那个便是很臭很臭的，所以我相信呃那时候他就是正在排毒咯。然后呃，他的伤口原本是有那一个浮肿上来的肉啊，呃，我擦那个精油跟兰花，他就呃很快的就是整个肉已经。平呃沉下去，然后呃疤痕也慢慢淡化了。对，等下等下啊，让我让我 translate 先呐、啊。Okay, she think actually shared that um she actually uh in the end she actually stop uh going to the doctors because it doesn't seem to really help uh so much. And through the recommendation of one of her son's uh teacher, which is teacher Alice, which is also one of our ambassador um and also our trainer as well, she actually recommended um she thinks to start giving live biotech, which is a probiotics. To cleanse the body systems, and at the same time, also uses the Forsythia Detox uh, Herbal Essential Oil with the Vital Meridian to apply on the baby skin. So through that, right, she noticed that after taking one week of a live biotic, and during this process, right, she noticed that her the son's poo poo is very very smelly. So she realized that this is really detoxing. Okay, right, Jisi. 呃，经过观察过后，呃，还有我就是涂那一个，呃，兰花一些，呃，兰花给它消炎，呃，然后还有梅菊消那些咯，然后呃，还会帮它捏嘴那些，按它的呃穴位咯，呃，我相信就是。在我这样坚持用下去，他的免疫力也提升上来了。呃，之前对一些食物敏感的、啊，呃，吃了他就会红肿啦、啊。然后现在的话就不至于以前那么严重咯。像现在如果说呃，他吃到对他敏感的东西，我也可以快速的把他的问题解决下来咯，也不会像以前这样害怕那些啊，要快点去看医生那些。
Oh, wow. Okay, okay. How? Thank you. Ah, okay. Let me translate. Ah, so she is saying that after actually using this uh, meridian therapy with the Foxitia detox oil and the Vital Meridian together with the Live Biotech, she actually add in Matrix Cell as well, which is a modify. Ah, uh, which is a high ah uh, anti-inflammation properties cream to apply onto the sun's skin. So she see the improvement. Uh, no longer she actually uh um the skin doesn't flare up uh, so easily. She sees actually her the condition has really improved like eighty percent. Yeah, once a while if um she also try to uh avoid um some of the sensitive food or allergy that the son has. Um, but nowadays she she feel that her bo uh his son's uh her son's uh, body constitution the immune system actually uh is increased is enhanced because even though he might have taken some allergic food right. But the recovery actually, she she because she knows about meridian therapy already. She actually helps to, uh, use the oil and massage for the sun. So no long no longer she's is she panic lah. Like faster must rush the sun to the doctors or whatever. So she use this natural therapy to help the sun, and then she no uh and and you can see from the picture lah. The sun skin now is so much so much better and so much cleaner also. Yeah, 谢谢你，雪欣，谢谢。Yeah, thank you, Audrey. Pass back to you. Thank you, Shuixing. Xie Ni for sharing your story. So good to see a smiling, happy baby, right? Okay. So um, the third sharing for the evening is actually my feet. Okay. Ah,、uh, I myself was an eczema sufferer, and I'm actually a work in progress. Um, um, I had my sudden uh eczema flare up. Um, in February, and it actually was in my body on on my body, right? And as a physician, Jermaine mentioned, it was really like symmetrical. You know, I had it on my the the crook of my um elbow, right? Uh, it was also at my groin, right, and at my thigh area, and the、uh, the worst one was actually my feet. Uh, my feet. I always thought my feet was just dry. Okay. But um, uh, it was so itchy. People who have not experienced eczema, don't please do not say I understand because you don't understand. It's so excruciating. Uh, uh, disruptive to your to my life. Right, I couldn't sleep properly. I wake up in the middle of the night, and as a physician, Jermaine said, right. The yin all come out to play, right? And I can tell you, I'll be scratching for a good fifteen minutes just to have relief. Okay, um, uh, so so it caused a lot of uh, uh, disruption for the next day because it's so hard to cope at work and dealing with um parents and COVID and annoying people and all that. So anyway, I did go um, just like Shred saying, I did go. To see my GP, my GP is actually someone who is very、um, conservative in prescribing medication. But、uh, I saw him twice. So the first round, he actually just gave me very, 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 very light topical, so topical creams, right? But when I saw him the second time,、uh, he said, "Audrey, I'm so sorry, but I have to give you steroids because it's gone so red." Okay, so、um, so I I. I took the steroids. I mean, I I'm a person who don't like medication, but I was so desperate because I wanted the itch to stop. So I took the steroids very diligently for four days. But on day five, my inner wisdom came out and woke me up, right, and say, "Look, Audrey, you know these、uh, antihistamines and steroids are just addressing the symptoms, okay? And yes, it gave you a good sleep for those nights, but uh." You know for sure that once you stop that, you know you you still have to cope with it. So that's when um I decided to make a very conscious uh decision and say I'm going to commit to TCM and listen to my physician. Guess who? Okay, Jermaine, right? And um yeah, I mean Jermaine and myself had a good laugh because uh. Uh, all the things that she has shared with you tonight. I mean, I could relate to it very personally, right? Feeling very hot, you know. I love the cold, even though all the dampness is in me, and yet I want the aircon. I want all my cold water. So all those things, I had to make that decision. I said, okay, Jermaine, I'm going to listen to you.、I'm、going to change the way I eat. I'm going to change my lifestyle. I'm going to do my um uh herbs, okay, um and all that. So. 
um, so what happened was this. So in April, I went to see her. My, my feet were in such a bad state. I had, the skin was so cracked, right? It had open wounds. I, at one time, I had six plasters under my feet. It was very difficult, right? So when I saw her in April, I did all those things. I did the herbal wash. I did the herbal medicine, okay? Change my diet, stop all my cold water. I stopped my, all my cold water, right? And um, by May, my skin has improved so much. It's not perfect, but it has improved so much. And the best thing about it was that the itch on my body was actually gone after I did the um, herbal wash and took my medication, right? That was the first thing. All the body stuff all gone. It was just my feet that was, uh, that was, that was just hanging around, okay? So in October, right, uh, last month, I showed uh, Jermaine how happy my feet were and how the condition of the skin has improved. Yes, I still have a little bit of cracks, uh, dry skin over here. So that's why I'm a, I'm a work in progress. And uh, so, you know, combining uh, uh, TCM herbal remedy, right? Doing my acupuncture, stopping my cold water, eating a lot more food to heal my body internally, right? And also doing my meridian therapy. I'm sure you've heard... Uh, Jenny, you know, talking about um, meridian therapy and hammering and all that. Yes, so I also practice that. There is a, there is a, there is a, uh, a meridian therapy which we call human reset. Right, it's actually uh, activating uh, five source points in your body, uh, on your wrists and your feet, and that really helped every helped help my my recovery. Right, and um, and uh. You know, Jermaine, you you were talking about hereditary and and clothing and all that, and it's true because I didn't know why I didn't know why I had this sudden adult eczema, like my the medical doctor would say adult eczema, right? I didn't know why, and then I kind of like, oh yeah, my father is an eczema sufferer, but I never had it as a kid. It it just came out now. So the so maybe my hormonal changes, right? I'm fifty four. So I have hormonal changes, um, anxiety of pa uh, pandemic and all that, uh, stress of, of, of managing the household. So, so my body probably couldn't cope and then it flared up, right? And, uh, and it's true, all this static electricity, uh, physician Jermaine, I used to thought I was a superhero, you know, I got, I got static power, okay? So now I know all the dry heat, okay? So, um. Yeah, so with this, you know, the meridian therapy was very, very useful. I, I practice every day and, and to see the change, right? My, the quality of my life, uh, being able to sleep peacefully. I think that was the most amazing gift to sleep well, to rest well and to sleep well, right? So um, I'm still in a work in progress. So hopefully, uh, physician Jermaine Go, I will show you 100%, okay, uh, in a few couple of months, all right? Um, so meridian therapy is simple, practical, you know, it enhances your immunity system and it really gives you, you know, gives you back the quality of life that, you know, we are used to, you know, like um, healthy life is something that we take for granted until it's taken away. And then, you know, that's all when the signals all come out and you, and you need to do something, right? So, you know, happy mind, happy body, healthier life, right? So with that, um, you know, I like to invite everyone to join us for our Meridian Human Reset workshop. We've got one on December 3rd, which will be in Chinese, and one on December 4th is in English and it's in English. Here are the QR codes. All right, do snap now or take a screenshot and then you can you can register and uh, I'll be looking forward to you know seeing you at the human reset workshop and and share with you all these all these wonderful techniques that uh, that has helped my eczema journey. So um with that I'd like to open the floor for any Q&A that we have. Could we look at the chat box if there's any questions from the our guests tonight? Okay, um, physician Jermaine, we have one question from Karen N. How often can one stimulate the acupressure points uh, that you shared earlier? Can it be done daily? Oh, you have answered. Sorry, you said yeah. yes. Yes. 
Okay, it's but okay. I, I, so but it's okay. It's okay. To, yeah, bring it out to the, the whole yeah, audience. To the rest of the people. Yeah, yeah? and uh, there's one message. Oh, okay. Anybody okay, else has any questions? Don't be shy. The physician is in. Take advantage of, of, her, of her wisdom now. There was also a question earlier on, on what oil to use. Uh, you know, when Jermaine was saying that uh, qua the stomach, because he said that when we, if you're going to qua the stomach. Uh, yeah, so what the, oil to use? That's a chi mm. oh, What oil to use, is it? Yes. Oh, that one, uh, you can use a fossil tail. And uh, also fossil tail plus the huo xiang. Yeah. Okay. Any more else question? For those who are a bit shy, um, type inside the chat box. Yeah, type in the chat box. Ah, okay. What are the foods that we can avoid? And what are the foods we should go for a four-year-old? Um, Jasmine, I assume you are meaning that a four-year-old which, which is going through um, eczema now, right? Yes. Thank you, Jasmine. Uh, okay, I think for, for, for small kids, you have to, because for small kids, you don't know how is their body constitution in the, or is actually uh, inherited from the parents. So what you can do is you slowly actually do a deduction. You know, what food that they cannot eat, uh, what food, you know, you have to keep track on logging in uh, like the logbook so that you know that, like what She Sing Jia Shang sharing that because of her kids, you know, have eczema since baby time. So she had to do a very thorough you know, food check on the baby and uh, to restrict them to actually uh, to contact to this allergy food and uh, also allergic, uh, uh, those, maybe the, you know, the toys, sometimes the toys is also one of the causes also. So just, rem just remember all the baby toys must buy a good one. Don't anyhow buy in the, you know, those uh, Pasamarang store. I'm not saying that it's no good there, but however, you don't know what type of chemical they are using for the baby's uh, toys. Obviously. So this one, you actually have to do the deduction of uh, what food that you're given. And uh, for kids like four years old, maybe you have to avoid all the, um, some of the like prawns, you know, sotong, all these things, maybe you can just deduct out. You know? And uh, also um, some, some uh, kids, they also uh, allergy to uh, flour, you know, that those uh, gluten uh, stuff, you know, like, uh, like uh, bread, all these things, it, it's not surprised they actually uh, have some uh, allergy on all these things. So you can actually just uh, do a deduction on the food there. It's very difficult to tell what food, but then, you know, it all depends on individual. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think from my own experience last time when I had urticaria or hives, right? And my dermatologist actually told me not, not to waste money to do those um allergen test because it's very very costly and sometimes you can't even decide right and what she recommended was to just do elimination of food like dairy nuts uh seafood things that are stimulating to the body right mm -hmm. and 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 uh so so sometimes it's hard to do that because there's so many food items uh, mm -hmm. but what i did was also I, I, I kind of focus more on like what are the good things for the body and so like minerals you know like food rich in minerals vitamins and all that so that's where I focus and and didn't want to worry about what was bad because it's so it's so hard to follow right and um um sorry I was trying to look at the question as well at the same time uh yeah so so for me I, I would definitely avoid the stimulating kind of food especially for kids because their body is not fully formed yet with all the you know of uh, uh, the immune system and resistance so you need to do it slowly it's a it's a slow process but uh it's better to find out some of 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 those things uh maybe just avoid all the nuts sometimes for kids you know especially for nuts they will be have some allergy like uh, walnuts some kids they cannot take walnuts you know, so all these uh will have some uh some uh, reaction on their uh, in their body, so try to avoid that. Some of it is Physician Jermaine, someone asked about coffee. Is coffee is a stimulant, right? Uh, 
Okay, coffee. Coffee not to take so much, especially uh, if you are adults, especially a uh, woman when you have these uh, menses, better don't take because it will it will cause pain. You know, so I'm not sure whether you're allergic to coffee, but um, coffee is um, in TCM coffee considered as a heatiness. Because how you prepare your coffee, you need to fry, right? Like, roast, roast it. So that is a heat, high temperature food is always the, you know, some of them telling me that, hey, can I take a baked food? That means it's baking inside the, you know, microwave or this or, or oven. This is all, to us is uh, in TCM, this is a high temperature food. High temperature means heat, you know, heatiness. So that will be one of the causes. Uh, some people, they just don't understand why I never eat anything. I eat very, very light one, you know, but no steam food is all the baked food, but you've got all the heatiness come out. So that is the causes, okay? That is because of the temperature, yeah? Yeah. Uh, the food, there's yeah? one more question, uh, Physician Jermaine. Um, yeah, I saw. What one if you are, what if you are allergic to the oils? When you're allergic to the oil, then don't use them. <laughs> it's very easy. Huh? If you you see, because the oils depend what type of oils you are talking about. If you are talking about generally all the oils, then you know you have to avoid it. You know? If you are talking about uh, some of the oils, whereby essential oil, then it depends on what type of essential oil you are actually uh, what type of flowers you no know, you are actually allergic to. Yeah, or, or what type of herbs that we are allergic to. So you have to find out, no? Because um, we can't say that you, everybody, somehow your body will reject some of the things. No? So um, if let's say you cannot use oils, then what you do is uh, for this, um, uh, let's say I say that kwasa cannot go without oil, right? then maybe you can try on this, uh, something like a body lotion, yeah? If I say you're allergic to oil, then maybe body will body lotion work on it, you know? I guess yeah. hypo hypo hypoallergic uh, uh lotion or oil, which is which actually formulated for people with sensitive skins. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or sometimes no, another thing you can use is uh, uh if you don't put oil, you can actually, you know, in a TCM, what they use is they use the mayu. <laughs> What's Mayu? Sesame? Mayu, sesame oil. Yeah, sesame oil. Sesame yeah. oil, yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I also can... have some help. Yeah, I, I, especially I... cold press, I think, supposedly. Cold press. Yeah. 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 But I guess if, uh, uh, if, if oils is not the way, we can we go for acu acupuncture? Yeah, sure. <laughs> More direct, right? <laughs> More direct mm -hmm. into the point. Any other questions from our guests tonight? Oh, Marcus is asking, is there any idea which herbal tea can relieve for eczema? Ha! I had this question. I had this very question for physician Jermaine Go, and I learned something new. Not all teas are the same. So Jermaine, over to you. I know you <laughs> told me only black fried tea you can drink. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, tea, like, I, I understand that, um, you no, know, in this era, a lot of people think that, oh, to be healthy, that means it's green tea. But actually, it's not. Like I say uh, previously, you know, it all depends on your body constitution, whether you can take it or not. Because for green tea, usually what they do is they, they just pluck from the, the tree and uh, from the tea, then the, they just uh, pack it and uh, it just sell to us, you know. So there's not much of a process on the tea leaf. So when you take it, it's a green tea in TCM, it's actually considered as a cooling tea. So if your body is already have dampness or heat, heat no, uh, you know, so it definitely will, will be not very good for your body. So so what I usually uh, advise my patient is, if possible, you have to look for those red tea whereby it can it actually roasted or fried before the tea leaf before it actually packet and uh, sell to the customer. So like pua, pua is one of the tea that you can take. It's also very good for stomach. You know, it uh, get rid of the uh, oily stuff or the oil from your body or also the oily food. When you take oily, especially even for dim sum, right? 
they will have poor. Why? Because you will get rid of the oil. So people who have bloated stomach or stomach problem, poor will be quite good for them. You know. So after food, they will not feel bloated. There's no yeah. bloatedness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, to add on that, Marcus, um, besides poor, uh, you can also take a uh, Earl Grey, right? Yeah. And and uh, English breakfast tea. All right, because it is the tea has been roasted. Right. And, and so that's the kind of tea. I used to be a huge green tea person until I understood the process of green tea, because usually they harvest and they ferment the tea in cool climates. And that's why they are so priced in that sense, because of the cool, cool climate. But then that becomes a triple whammy because it's very cold, very liang, very cold. So, yeah, green tea has been off my menu for a while. Yeah. And uh, I saw somebody is asking, taking regular shower, does taking hot or cold bath make a difference? Yes, of course, because some of the azima actually, they will, some azima is when there's heat, when you touch on heat or anything that's heat, uh, heat up, uh, it will flare up a lot. And some of it is actually due to the coldness. So it depends on what type of azima you are having. It's also due to your body constitution. So, so somehow some people, when you ask, whether you have, um, when, uh, which is the time where you find that your azima or your itchiness is more, you know, more often or flat out more. So I will ask my patient that type of question so that I understand that at what time, what point in time they're actually having this, um, this azima or itchiness uh, is a high peak time. Uh. So from there, then I will concord the, the herbs accordingly. You know, so it's all depends. So you have to try it out. If let's say you find that when you take a shower, cold shower, you find that your azima flare out a lot. Some people after sh showering, uh, after hot sh bath, uh, the azima come in or uh, the whole body actually flare out with all the highs of this thing. So you can actually, I'm, I'm not saying that you cannot try, you know, <laughs> I don't know what type of body constitution you have. So you have to experience it. Yeah, it really make a difference. I, I think for myself, right, I, I used to be like those people, oh, hot, a hot soap would be so good and invigorating. But when I had my um, last case of uh, urticaria, I realized that actually you need to find the temperature of the water that is comforting and fitting mm. to your skin. Yes. Because uh, hot, extremely hot and extremely cold is actually um, irritating. It's irritant. Yeah, irritant. Yeah. It's, yeah, because of the temperature. Irritates. Yeah. Yeah. So if you find that you don't want to try, you can maybe you just try it warm. <laughs> uh, Jermaine, we have a couple of questions. I think we still have time for a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, the other Bali. one is a yeah, the one is about uh, how about roasted barley tea? I never tried before. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you can just try and let me know. You know, because yeah. actually, seriously, I never tried before, so I don't know. Okay, and uh -huh. what about fruits? At which fruits causes eczema to flare up or is considered heaty slash damp? Fruits, our favorite fruits. Okay, food. There's uh, in tea, fruit, uh? in tea fruit. you know, most of the food, all food or all plants, they actually resonate to some of the either it's cold or hot, you know, or heatiness. So, like durian, you know, definitely is hot on heatiness, right? right? Because when people take durian, they'll find that, wow, so throat, la, you know, your body so warm, you know, and you have ulcer, all these things. So it all depends on your body constitution. Like just now I have mentioned, either you're yin or you're yang, you know, they have nine types. Maybe you can just Google and see which type you're in. Then you from there, you can actually uh, counter-react with what type of food or what type of, uh, 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 you know, uh, whether you should take what type of food, you know, all these things. Because I will not, I will not recommend what type of food you cannot eat or, you know, maybe uh, for, for Mary, she don't have any problem. She can eat anything. Then if I tell Audrey, you go and take, um, you go and take jackfruits. I don't think she can take it because it's heaty. You know, her body constitution may not be able to take it because it's a heat. So just now I already mentioned that internal heat, what happened? You will generate more, more problem with all the azima people, yeah? So that's why it's all have to do, you have to uh, do the deduction for yourself and see which one is more suitable. And the best food is actually apple. <laughs> apple is so neutral. And you know? apple Everybody a day keeps it, the right? doctor away, yeah, right? It's the best. And uh, just cut down for like durian, jackfruits, all these are all more on the, um, you know, it's more on the 
on the tropical. Uh, yeah, tropical food, no, more on very heatiness like rambutan, mango. All this thing is quite uh, very heat, heat up food, you know. Like uh, you want some soothing, maybe you can take uh, apple. You can take orange. Maybe some people cannot take it. And uh, also pear. Pear is very good because pear is uh, especially uh, TCM, the pear, Lee. Lee is very good, especially it, it can actually smooth out all your dryness. You know, it's zirunda. It's actually smoothen your body. Okay, so it gives you a more uh, soothing uh, feeling. Yeah, and uh, what is that? To flare out any food and it's considered heaty on them. So this one I have to find out more, you know. I, I, it does whole list a lot of things. Well, uh, very interactive evening, uh, evening, lots of questions. I love it. Um, we are, I don't see any more questions. Oh, sorry, oh, yeah, okay, I don't see any more questions. Um, are we, are, have we exhausted phys physician, Jermaine? <laughs> okay, at this point then, uh, I would love for everyone to just turn on their camera for uh, a while so that we can take a group photo of this evening. Okay. Can, yeah, can we have? Maybe you uh, unshare. Yeah. So Mary, maybe, or, yeah. or, or looks. <laughs> Everybody turn on your camera. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay, one more, yeah. One, there's quite many people today. Now, uh, continue to smile because I don't know which page you are in. Okay. 